kind of draw out the shapes of shadows that I see, then I know that I can go ahead and start painting. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about is I, I start off with three different values of paint. Okay, I'll start with a dark, a medium, and a light for the flesh tones. And then after I get those all on, then I will maybe work with some other colors. Now, I want to mention that where, where I get these colors is I use alizarin crimson, and I use yellow ochre, and white. So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to get my brush, and I'm going to go with the darkest darks. And so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up underneath here, under his eyebrow, here. And I'm going to come over and do the same thing here. And, and what I'm doing is sort of like putting together a puzzle because I, I'm just painting about shape. that shape right there that's kind of like a triangle that's actually... What, what this is doing here is, is this is establishing the values of the skin. Putting some of this other stuff on here. I'm looking you know, underneath his nose there. On his nose, this part in here is in a shadow. Okay, and then I look and on his chin right here I see a shadow. And there's sort of a shadow under here on his little body. The lightest lights. Well, where I'm seeing the lightest light right now is right here on the end of his nose. So I'm going to put that there. And I also see one right here on his forehead. Another place I see that is right here under his chin. And then I also have a light thing right here on the lip. Now the lips are very smooth skin and very shiny and so when the light hits them it's, there's a shine to it. Alright, so when I pretty much figure out where all the lights go, see I, I've got pretty light place right here under that eye. I've got some light pretty much over here too. And over the top of the eyebrows, if you feel right in here, there's a bone over the top of your eyebrow that kind of sticks out. So if you look above his eyebrows, you'll see there's a place that's kind of light right here. That's because that's sticking out and it's closer to the light. So that portion is light. Now, after I start doing that, then I can start finding some of these mediums and, and putting them in. So I'll, I'll do that. Medium color again. Okay, now, can you see this kind of coming into play? the uh, kind of values of the face. And um, fairly light right here. And light now, over here. Um, so, so basically I, I've, I've worked in a, a value system. Now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a different value right now, a different color actually, uh, in his hair right now. His, you know, I want to do his hair so that so that I can kind of see what I'm doing. Anyway, so now that I sort of have all of that worked in, and I kind of see the values of what I'm doing, then what I can do is I can start doing a little more detail. So uh, the first thing I want to do to bring it, painting this in, the iris of the eye, both sides. Inside the iris, of course, is the pupil. So, so I put the pupil in here. Okay, now I'm going to leave a little room to the left side because we have a window behind us and it's shining in and there's going to be a highlight put on there. So uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white on my brush and I'm just going to put a dot right here of the white and a dot right here of the white. And that right there is the first thing that happens to start bringing this face to life. Okay. Now, once I've done that, I, I'll want to uh, kind of draw a, a dark line around the outside of the iris, because that's what's there. All right, now, next thing, I, I'm looking and I can see he's got uh, 
eyelashes, and so and I look for the direction of the slant of the eyelash. It's coming up this way on him and there. And then over here, I see it comes here, and then it pulls down this way. Comes over this way. So that's that top eyelash. It comes over the top of the eye, bottom of the eye, actually. There, there's a, a piece of skin, basically, right here that is quite light because it's kind of at an angle so that the, the light rests right on it. And then below it is a, another line. Okay, so let me put that here. Okay, and then underneath see here, side of the nose, you've got this shadow coming over here. This is, you know, this shadow is actually going to come over here a little bit. All right, now we're seeing that a little bit. Now, also, above his left eye, it's uh, pretty light. So I'm going to paint that area over that eyebrow. side it's not so much just kind of shadow uh, right now so I have kind of a, a feel for where it's down here uh, it's not going to be white it's it's uh, kind of a, a shadowed out I need to do something with his nose and uh, you look in the nostril right here the, the left nostril and then this hot nostril over here I don't really see it because the side of the nose is in the way okay and then then this side of his nose over here. There's a kind of a smile line on the side of your face right here that goes from your nose over. And the reason that that's there is because uh, that's where your cheekbone is. Between here and, and in here, the cheekbone is there and it kind of sticks. You can see this light kind of comes over into here. Now on the top of his hair, uh, the, when the light hits it on the top, uh, it kind of reflects off the, off the hair and, and gives it almost a whitish look. Now the top of his hair is not white, but on his side burns, he's got little lighters. But because of the highlight on his hair, I'm going to put that up on here. I've gone in here, I've worked at it, i found the values, you know, the various values of color, you know, the, the dark, medium, and light. I put them in, I drew them in. First, I, I did the I painted in the uh, the darkest, you know, like underneath the eyebrow, underneath the nose, underneath uh, the top lip, under the chin. All right, and then uh, afterwards, I started working on other details like the eyes. Now whenever you're doing portraiture or something like that, wait till you get the basic things in before you start working on details. If you start blending everything together, it's going to look horrible. You need to leave kind of, a, kind of a separation between the values. Don't blend them together into the other because it will lose everything. It, it will look flat and boring, but with this, there is a feeling of dimension. There's a, there's a shape to the face. I know, I've noticed I have not painted the top eyelids. And I need to do that. This eyelid, you can see that slider, comes down over here. And then this comes over here. Now I'm looking again. I need to do some more with the air. Uh, I'm going to come right here. Um, I need to lighten this over the... I get to that point, then, then what I like to do is uh, just start. Now this line something. here is, uh, okay, so here's Don, here's Don. You know how I did it? Shapes, values, colors, beautiful, sweet face that only a mother could love. So that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.